Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and a brand new project to share with you today. So this now has been filmed after I've made the album. So sometimes during the videos that are to come, I wasn't sure where I was going, but this was the final project. Now I did ask a while back if you would be interested in a series of videos focusing on closures and there was a resounding yes. So this is what I've got for you. This is my closure album because it's going to show you lots of different closures you can make on each page. Now, the cover itself has been made using a Cool Cats kit called the Merlin album. And lots of the dies for the closures have also come from Cool Cats. So I thought I'd give you a quick intro into where everything is found. So the website is coolcatscraft.com. There we go. And this is the landing page. And I thought I'd start off by showing you Merlin. So let's search Merlin. And there are now three options available. You can buy a Merlin cover, which uses the construction tape rather than the archetype like in the, uh, I use in this video. And it comes with a box called Camelot, which obviously Merlin and Arthur fit into the Camelot box. You can buy just the MDF covers and you get one for Merlin and one for Arthur. So if you have a look in my playlists, you'll find um, a playlist of different versions of my Merlin and my Arthur folio. But the kit I used was this one, the Merlin album cover set. So we click on there and you can see my original one there using Alchemy by Stamperia. And in the playlist, I do show you how to make pocket pages and things. And there's walkthroughs to show me different ideas. But this is a totally new page which will fit into it. And in the kit, you get the extra wide archetype, which is what makes your spine nice and luxurious. It's very touchy-feely. And you also get some instructions on how um, I cover the album as well and how I made the pages. There's some written instructions there as well. So that was the album cover if you're interested. But in the construction video, um, I'll give you the measurements. So if you want to use the um, tape method and make your own, you can. Then if you go to the top and look for Cool Cats Cuts dies, you will get lots and lots of die ideas. Now, the ones I use a lot are the Brad Flaps. And I use them in the video. I used the Clever Closure Photo Swivel Die Set. I could have used the Faux Brad Set because we do use quite a lot of brads. I must have the Folio Strip Dies. And I used, if we can find it, the page slider die set too. There's more page tab dies you could use with magnets. Uh, the page tab dies there could be used with magnets as well on the sides. Oh, and perfect finish circles. They're a brilliant set to have. So there we go. That's where you will find the dies I used. So let's have a look at the album. I used Farmhouse by Graphic 45. Let's see if I can zoom out a little bit more. There we go. So you can see the cow. <laughs> Pretty obvious there. And I still got a lot of pages left, actually. And my offcuts. These are the full sheets I've got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight, nine, ten. I still got 11 sheets. How many were in the kit? 
um, two eight of eight, so 16. So very cost effective album. Um, it's a repeating page. So I think I used one sheet to cover the front, two more for there, so that's three, and then four, five, six, seven. You could get away with seven or eight pages. So a Stamperia pad would be okay for this. Echo Park would, you'd get one of these out of an Echo Park page. Uh, Ciao Bella, any of those ones, you'll be able to make this album. So what have we got? Four closures, each page, is exactly the same layout, just with a different closure, because that's what the focus was. So number one was a fun swivel die. So I show you a couple of different ways of doing it, but obviously I can only stick one down. So I went for the raised one because it is my favorite. So we open it up and on each page then, I've used a journal card by Graphic 45 with a photo space on the back then for a six by four photo. And each one then has this large pocket then to put in uh, photo mats or whatever you want. So I said each page, exactly the same. The only difference is focusing on a different closure. So number one was the swivel. Page two, we'll be focusing on using magnets. So I'm using my brad tab dies here again room for six by four photo and a clunk now this was a faux brad one but it looks like i've used brads so wait for that video to see how i made my faux brads here you might not see but there's photo slots here i've used my cool cats uh five by seven photo slot die to cut in there so each of the backs has got that because there's only a quarter of an inch um, space between each spine. So I didn't want to overload. I could have done a pocket on each one, but then you're running into the risk of not fitting everything in because you've got some um, depth on the right hand side. So the second video, we'll have a look at magnets and how to get pattern continuation as well. Uh, had to have one of these. Kay and Maggie um, would probably not be shocked to see a corset closure. Again, I got a five by seven photo slot there and a brad closure. I'll show you how to make a folio one as well with just a single one. But this one is just so much fun. Again, opens up six by four and the pocket. But the fun is had when you're lacing it up and this looks really effective when you've got um, a nice big pocket flap. I've used it in my deluxe wallets a lot. There are, yeah, so my corset closure. Open again. And you can see we've got the five by seven and you can see how the pattern goes across. So if you're gonna use something like Stamperia, which has got like the images, then this is a lovely way to show it because you can, take this out, you would see, especially if I didn't reverse this, it would just go all the way across the double spread. So this one was a fun little one. It's a slider die. So this little circle slides back and then your flap lifts over. As it goes back, it slides and locks it back into place. That's a nice one again, no magnets. The only one I used magnets was this one. I know people worry about magnets and things, so it's nice to have different things. And other than the magnet one, all the closures I did, oh no, and this one. So the magnet and this one, um, I had to do before sticking it down. These two were done after sticking the papers down. So if you've stuck all your papers down by accident, there are two closures here, which will save you. And again, back page, another five by seven photo slot and just done the same again then on the right hand side. And then that's the back. So you can see how the archetype just extra wide wraps all around the entire spine, which is here and holds it all in place 
really lovely to feel as well. So if you haven't tried the Architape, this is a good chance to have a go with it. It is the easiest Architape method of all. So hopefully you like what you see. And as I said, there'll be a videos coming up. The first one will be uh, making the cover and the base pages and the spine. And then as the week goes on, I'll take you through a different closure each day. And then come back then for one more or final bit where we'll just finish it off by putting it all together. So thank you for watching. If you're looking forward to the series or you've already watched and enjoyed, please uh, hit that thumbs up. It really does help a lot and write some comments on each of the videos. It really does uh, help the channel to grow. So if you can comment on each video, even better. And if you haven't already, click that subscribe button and I can't wait to see what you all make. So happy crafting and enjoy the videos. Thank you.